Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. We're coming to you live here tonight to talk about a question I got from one of my subscribers on the YouTube channel. A really interesting question I think I wanted to cut a video on to answer. So Chris R. asked, I want to buy an R-Pod in a few years. I'm looking at getting a Honda Pilot, but not sure if that's the right vehicle. I do plan to take it to Colorado. Did you find the Pilot was enough to pull your R-Pod? So let me go back and tell you my story just a little bit. You know, when I started with the R-Pod, I started with a, a new 2016 R-Pod 171 and my Honda Pilot. It was a 2014 four-wheel drive Honda Pilot. And I used that for a year, so I have a good bit of experience of towing with the Pilot. And then, more recently, actually last year in 2017, I upgraded to an R-Pod uh, 179 and upgraded my tow vehicle to a Toyota Tundra, you know, half-ton truck. So we're going to talk, uh, answer Chris's question about, you know, towing with a Honda Pilot. It's a great question. That one of the selling points of the R Pods is that you can use, you know, a midsize or larger SUV and not have to have a truck. So let's talk about the Honda Pilot first. I'm going to talk about two different part, you know, two different generations. The first one is my generation, which was a 2014. That ended in 2015, and then the 2016 through current are a little bit different. And all of what I talk about with towing of the Pilot, just remember, underneath all this, I think the Honda Pilot is an excellent vehicle. I like Hondas in general. And honestly, it, I would have bought a Honda truck if they had an offering, but they really didn't to tow a larger R-Pod with. Uh, when you're talking about towing with a Honda Pilot, you need to count the cost. You kind of tip number one, count the cost. Because with the 2014 even, I had to do several things. Now, one of the big differences between the 14 and later models is that the 2014 came with the hitch. So it's already in the vehicle, in the back of the vehicle. The 2016 and later does not come with a hitch. So you're going to have to have one put on aftermarket, probably by the dealer or somewhere else, for you to start towing with. But the 2014 uh, generation did come with a hitch. So it made it a little easier for me to uh, set it up for towing. Now, because it had the hitch, there's a seven pin connector electrical uh, harness that got added. I had to go to the dealer and have that done. It cost a little bit of money, so count the cost for adding the harness. You'll have to do that also with the newer generation. And then there's also a brake controller, which you'll have to add because the brake controller um, regulates the electrical that goes to the brakes on the trailer. So you absolutely have to have that so make sure you count the cost of that. And then finally, I used a weight distribution hitch because I didn't want the back of the pilot to sag too much and the front to be lifted up and not tow well. So I used a weight distribution hitch. Now, one of the things to know about the older generation uh, pilots is that uh, like the newer ones, they're unibody. And the generation before 2016, which is my generation, 2014, it uh, did not recommend uh, using a weight distribution hitch. However, I felt pretty strongly, and after doing a lot of research, ended up using a weight distribution, distribution hitch. I used an equalizer hitch, and it worked really well, and it, I think it helped tow quite a bit. It kept the sway under control as well. But that's in the manual of the 14. The newer ones, we couldn't find that. We couldn't find that you shouldn't use a weight distribution hitch in the newer manuals, the 2016 and later. Okay, but you, you want to do your research on that and look at the manuals online. Okay, so let's talk about the capacities now about the pilot. Now I'm going to be specific with the 2014 uh, model. So the capacity of the Honda Pilot is, you'll see it is 4,500 pounds. But you got to understand that that 4,500 pounds is based on having two people of 150, 150 pounds in the front seats and only 15 pounds each of cargo in the back of the vehicle. So that's not much at all, based, the basing the 4,500 pounds. Now, this is the remarkable thing. You add two more adults in the back seats, and that 4,500 pounds goes down to 4,100 pound towing capacity for the 2014. That's a substantial decrease just by adding a couple people. Now, with the newer models, the 16 and later, the towing capacity is 5,000 pounds, which is quite a bit more with, two, again, two occupants in the front seats. You put two more occupants in the back seats and it goes down to 4,500 pounds. So you got a little more capacity with the newer, with the newer uh, generation. Okay, now let's, let's look at this in terms of, uh, you know, tongue weight and load limits for these two, for the 2014. 
So if you only have the two occupants in the front seat, you have a tongue capacity of 450 pounds. You go two people in the back seat, that goes way down to 330 pounds. So you lose 120 pounds just by putting people in the back seat. All right, so just be aware if you have the older generation, 15 and older, you're gonna you you really lower your towing capacity. That's what I'm trying the point I'm making when you add people and weight to the back of the Honda Pilot. Okay, for the newer one, you start out with 500 pounds tongue capacity. You put two people in the and the two people in the front. You put two people in the back seat. You go down to 450. So you still have quite a bit of tongue capacity on the newer Honda Pilots. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the weight of you know towing. So I just gave you some some basic. Um, weight and capacities for the pilot. Let's talk about the, the R pods that'll go with it. So if you're just taking a 171, you know the dry weight without anything in it or anything in the tanks is 2342. The 179 is 2756, so that's like 400 pounds more. And I towed, again, I towed my 171 with the 14 pilot and it worked pretty well. Now just as a, a sidebar here on all the travel I did with it that first year, it did rev a good bit. Just I want to level set your expectations that the Honda Pilot did rev it as a V6. It did rev a good bit just going up minor hills, so just be aware of that. If you're going to take it up mountainous area, you're probably going to have a lot more wear and tear on the vehicle. And you know, you can add about 900 pounds to the 171 and about 1,000 pounds to a little over 1,000 pounds to the 179. So just be aware of that, and that's cargo, adding that on top of the dry weight. So you can rank, you could ramp up that weight of your trailer quite a bit, and then you're going to lower your margin. So just play with me for a second on this, this scenario. You get a, an older pilot, like a 2014 that has 4,500 pounds, but you put people in the back seat and a bunch of cargo in the back, that's going way down. And then you're, you're towing a, a R pod like a 179, and you're adding a bunch of you know water weight and other things, you're gonna lower that margin, that towable margin quite a bit. So just be aware of that. Okay, the other thing to be aware of is the tank sizes. For all the R pods right now, the tank sizes are 36 gallons fresh, 30 on the black tank, and 30 on the gray tank. Now, just as a reference point, each gallon of water is 8.34 gallons, it's 8.34 pounds. And that equals 300 pounds if you fill your fresh tank. So if you decide to go out with your R pod and your Honda Pilot and you fill the freshwater tank full, it's adding 300 pounds to the, to the tow weight. So just be aware of that. Okay, so let's segue to three questions we want to ask about you know, towing with your Honda Pilot. First of all, ask yourself where do you plan to go with it? Are you going to go up mountain roads? Are you going to go through the Rockies a lot? Are you going to do a lot of long trips? that distance and terrain are going to have an effect of stress on your tow vehicle. So if you plan on going through mountains a lot, you're really going to put more stress than if you're just going, you know, toting through the Midwest or the South where there's not as many mountains. So just be aware of that. The second thing you're going to want to ask is who are you taking with you? We just talked about the capacities with just two people uh, versus four and extra, and extra cargo. If it's just you and your dog and a couple things, it may not make a big difference. If you plan on taking, you know, three other people with you, if they're bigger than 150 pounds, it may really lower your, your towing capacity. If you have a bunch of cargo in the back, it may really lower the towing capacity of the pilot. Okay, and then the final thing we want to ask is how are you going to use the uh, tow vehicle and the trailer? In other words, do you plan on boondocking a lot or are you going to go to parks where you have you know full hookups or whatnot? If you boondock, you're probably going to take all your water in with you, so you're going to fill your tank first and have that extra 300 pounds, raising the tow weight of what you're towing with the Pilot. So these are all the kind of things you want to consider when you're thinking about using a Honda Pilot and, uh, and an R-Pod. Okay, so let's talk about three situations you may find yourself in. The first situation is you already have a Honda Pilot. This may determine what kind of RV and R-Pod you get. So for me, that was the situation. I had my 2014 before I ever got an R-Pod. And that determined me to go to a R Pod 171. I felt much more comfortable going with a smaller trailer with the pilot just because I had more gap between what I could tow with the pilot and the weight, even weighed down with uh, water or cargo of the 171. So that's what I decided to do. I didn't feel comfortable getting a bigger trailer like the 179 or 180 with the Honda Pilot, just my preference. Okay, the second scenario you may find yourself in is you already have the R Pod. And this should determine what our, uh, what tow vehicle you get. So if you don't have a pilot, but you already have a 179 or a 180, 
you may want to think about maybe something a little more robust than a than a pilot. That's my recommendation. If you have a 171, you know, you probably could use a Honda Pilot if that's what you're looking for. So it's it's very doable and I did it as well. And then the final scenario is maybe you need to get both. Maybe you're looking for both a tow vehicle and an RV and just consider what we what we discussed here just now in the video you know do you want a bigger unit like a 179 that's a little heavier a little more open space with slide outs or do you really are your, is your heart set on a tow vehicle like a pilot in which case that may determine your your uh, rpod so anyway those are some of the things to consider hopefully that's helpful you know by the way uh, thanks for watching again uh, you know, if you like this video, again, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. You know, we love having you on the channel. Hit the bell icon uh, to get email notifications anytime we come out with a new video. So this is the video wrap up on the Honda Pilot, you know, from personal experience. Hopefully you like this. And remember, you can follow us on Instagram at John Marucci and Twitter at John Marucci. Anyway, this is John Marucci. Thanks for watching again and have a great day. We'll see you. See you soon.